How's it going everybody? Um, today you can see I'm inside, it's raining pretty hard out and um, I wanted to get this video out to you guys before too much time went past since my last one. So um, as you can see I have a, a rip bait here. This is a Lucky Craft Stacy. Um, yeah, this is a version 3 which is uh, Gary Dobbins personal touch on the Stacy. What it does is actually slowly sinks. Um, I want to talk about jerk baits a little bit today because um, in the winter time it's incredibly important to have a jerk bait that's tuned correctly in terms of sink rate and and how well it suspends and stuff like that. Um, what happens in the winter time typically in most fisheries is the water starts to get really cold and cold water retains a little bit more oxygen. Um, what that's going to do in the actual water is make it a little bit more of a like a denser uh, substance for a bait to sink through or crank through. Um, for example, if you threw a 3 8 ounce jig in the summertime, it would probably sink pretty close to that of a half ounce jig in the wintertime. Um, I encourage you guys to try that and actually see because the density of the water really does change in the wintertime. That being said, a lot of people buy jerk baits, whether they're a Lucky Craft like this one here, a Mega Bass or anything, and um, there's, no, there's not a bait that you can buy that's going to suspend all the time. Um, obviously, most jerk baits are marketed as suspending jerk baits or rip baits. Um, if you will, and uh, they're they're really not. The if you're going to become a good jerkbait fisherman, ripbait fisherman, same thing. Um, you're going to really need to learn to pay attention to your bait and understand what it's doing under the water. Um, before I ever make a long cast with a jerkbait, unless I've already tuned it, the day I get out there, I want to kind of give it a couple twitches by the boat and make sure it does exactly what I need it to do. Um, all that being said, in the summertime it's not as critical, but in the wintertime I do much better on a jerkbait that sinks. Um, this bait here, the Gary Dobbins version 3 Stacy, comes out of the package to slowly sink for that same reason. Um, stock on this bait, I've caught pretty good success. Um, I mean, in, in the middle of winter when the water temperature here in Oregon is in the mid to upper 30 degree range. So really, really cold water. I'm catching largemouth too. So that really is a testament to this bait and Gary Dobbins' um, you know, take on it for wintertime fishing. I really like the bill angle of this because if you jerk most rip baits, they're going to either dart left or right. Something like a, um, let's see what we got here. I got a pointer right here and you can see it's got a kind of like a, a fairly shallow bill on it. A bait with a bill like that is going to really have a lot more left to right movement than a bait with a bill like this Stacy here. Um, my favorite approach for fishing this bait isn't a really hard jerk, it's just kind of like a slow pull and then maybe a pop at the end for fishing largemouth. Um, spots and smallies and stuff like that I'll fish a little bit more erratic, but if I'm fishing largemouth in the dead of winter when it's so cold that I really shouldn't even be out there, um, I have pretty good success just kind of slowly sweeping it and popping it at the end. Sweep, pop, maybe one little jerk. Um, I don't want the fish to have to track that bait incredibly far. And then the most important thing, if you ask me, I get a lot of bites on the fall, or um, on the pause. Well, it ends up being the fall because I like to mod my baits to slowly sink. Um, me and a buddy were out last year and we were fishing the same bait. They were both jackal squad minnows. And um, 115, same color, and he was just really catching like three to my one. Um, and upon further inspection, I noticed that his bait had a crack and it had taken on some water and it was actually slowly sinking. I put on a bigger hook and we took turns catching fish to, for the rest of the day. Probably ended up with something like 40 fish. And this was in late December here in Oregon. So that's a really staggering number, really successful day, up to, you know, five and a quarter pounds. So good sized fish. Um, not necessarily for this bait, but any jerk bait you wanted to try to get to really slowly sink or get that perfect suspend. My favorite way to do it, you can use suspend dots and stuff like that. I like using lead wire. This is uh, 0.035 millimeter. I like the thicker I can get, or actually it might be inches whatever it is, 0 0.035. Um, cut off a little bit. If it, your bait's marketed to suspend, it won't take a lot to get it to actually sink. Um, I just trimmed off a little bit. I probably won't need this much. I like to slip it in there through the eyelet of the treble hook and then just wrap it around the shank of the hook. I like using this method a little bit more than suspend dots and stuff because it's I can modify my baits on the fly a little bit better. Um, so I might put on that much and see if that's enough and so forth. So you can see it just got a little tiny wrap of lead around my treble hook. That's it. Um, fish aren't going to notice that. It's really minimal. I also like it because I can modify crankbaits and things like that to do the same thing like a shad wrap which is made out of balls. So it takes a lot more lead to actually get it neutrally buoyant or even to sink. So um, keep that in mind when you're fishing in the winter time. You want to have a jerk bait that doesn't necessarily track left to right that far unless you're in really clear water. Um, 
and uh, you know I like this spoonbill looking um, baits personally. So um, make sure that you have your baits that are suspending correctly. If you go out there and throw a jerk bait that floats in the winter time and you have good success in it, that's that's a rarity. Um, normally I do really good on a bait that slowly sinks or at least perfectly suspends. Never on a floating bait when it's really really cold. And I'm talking, we'll go fishing if there's ice on the water and stuff like that. I mean, just minimal ice covering half the lake or whatever. We've gone out there and caught fish on jerk bait. So check it out. Um, you know, give it a try. I'm sure it'll help you guys. A lot of people don't really fish that much in the winter time, but some of my best days are in the winter time. So give it a go. Get yourself some lead wire. You can usually find it in like a fly fishing department of a, a large store or even just a little fly shop will have it. So check it out. I like it more than suspend dots and suspend strips and stuff like that. Um, thank you guys for viewing and stay tuned for the next video.